going. Okay. Uh, thanks for giving me the time off. It's not a gift, Steve. You'll have to make it up. Right, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Go on, then, if you're going. Good luck. Cheers. And try and not look so worried. The bank manager won't eat you. Very tasty. Yeah. So where's the resident hunk off out to this fine day? I thought I was married to the resident hunk. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Good job I did. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and it time you was opening up? Uh, sorry, Pat. Straight away, Pat. Sorry, Pat. Pat? Yes? Is everything all right? Why well, shouldn't it be? You were late this morning. I said I was sorry, didn't I? Oh, you seem so... What? Well, tired. As a matter of fact, Sharon, I am tired. I was up at half five this morning, out to clean offices. Then I got back, had to cook breakfast at home. Then I come over here and clean your gaff. Guess what? The rest of the day I'll be shopping, cooking, washing up. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, it's it's not your fault. I'm just feeling a bit sorry for myself. I was faint. Lying in bed, complaining of a backache and calling down for cups of tea and bacon sandwiches. You know which one of us I'd rather be, it ain't yours truly. And I know, I know it's not your problem, Sharon, I'm sorry. You still no sign of David? No. Good riddance. I look at my life sometimes and all I can see is a big black hole. All right, all right, you can't be that desperate for a drink. That's called Paul Mitchell. Remember me?